It looks like Congress is heading into another big brawl over the federal budget deficit, the national debt and the debt ceiling. And deficit hawks are going to be waving scary numbers. Don't be fooled. Here are the three basic principles you need to know. First, deficit and debt numbers are meaningless on their own. They have to be viewed as a percent of the national economy. That ratio is critical. As long as the yearly deficit continues to drop as a percent of the national economy, as it's been doing for several years now, we can more easily pay what we owe. Second, America needs to run larger deficits when lots of people are unemployed or underemployed, as they still are today, as millions who remain too discouraged to look for jobs have dropped out of the workforce altogether, and millions more are in part-time jobs and need full-time work. As we've known for years, in every economic downturn and in every struggling recovery, more government spending helps create jobs. Teachers, firefighters, police officers, social workers, also people to rebuild roads and bridges and parks, and those jobs and that spending multiplies through the economy. Doing the opposite, cutting back spending when a lot of people are still out of work, as Congress has done with the sequester, as much of Europe has done, causes economies to slow or even shrink, which makes the deficit larger in proportion. This is why austerity economics can be a recipe for disaster, as it's been in Greece. Creditors and institutions worried about Greece's debt forced it to cut spending. The spending cuts led to a huge economic recession, which reduced tax revenues and made the debt crisis there even worse. Third and finally, deficit spending on investments like education and infrastructure is different than other forms of spending because this spending, investment spending, builds productivity and future economic growth. It's like a family borrowing money to send a kid to college or start a business. If the likely return on the investment exceeds the borrowing costs, it should be done. Keep these three principles in mind and you won't be fooled by scare tactics of the deficit hawks. And you'll understand why we have to end the sequester, put more people to work, and increase rather than decrease spending on vital public investments like education and infrastructure. <laughs>